think I got this working. Um, shit though, not very high up. I'll just go back to normal. Hey YouTubers, this is Devi Darkside. This is video blog number 10, finally. And I know it took forever. I had some computer issues. My old laptop, either its power supply went to shit, or its, ba or its battery, but either way, it won't turn on. And since I know that batteries can run anywhere between 100 to 300, I have really no option for uploading anything. On top of that, until basically today, I've been, last three days until today, I've been kind of ill, and I don't know, there really hasn't been much for an update when it comes to hormones. I mean, I'm doing fairly well. Nothing really spectacular or different I really want to say. I mean, I'm almost to the six month point, which means like, you know, the curves and shit will actually start to show and all that, you know, I'll start to notice the difference more, but it isn't really until my eight month point I keep hearing from other transgenders and transsexuals that I won't be, you know, that I won't really see a big difference. In fact, around the eight month point is supposedly when it'll be so out there that, you know, I will definitely have the female body going, which sounds awesome, but I don't know. I feel like I should do a mom part two in a way. So remember how I said in the last blog how, or I hope I said it, I'll look at my video later, I hope I did, and if not, I apologize. If I did say it, hooray, if not, I'll repeat. I went to Sturgis, to um, South Dakota, to bring my mom to her one of her final resting places. Technically, she has, she was supposed to have two, she has three. It was a nice trip because I got to see a lot of family, a lot of people I really love and care about. My little sister, my little brother's foster parents. The, um... My little sister, my little brother, and their two foster sisters, who are way too full of cuteness. You know, one that's one that's two, one that's one, and oh my goodness, or maybe three and two. I don't know. I'm bad of ages. But anyway, on mom's part, when she died, she was heading for Sturgis, and what we did, the first part of her ashes, we brought up. To, um, to a hill looking over Sturgis, and we dumped them out right on this cliff, right by a tree, some rocks, a little bit down towards the town. Problem was, the day was kind of windy, so Mom ended up flying all over the damn place and got on her clothes and our hair, and my little sister had her mouth open, so she had to taste Mom in ways that nobody should ever do. And, yeah, she informed us all how disgusting that taste was. So we kept going after that part. And Mom went with us when we went to see Mount Rushmore. On our clothes and on our hair. And her second resting place was a hotel pool in a town known as Deadwood in South Dakota. <laughs> so, to anyone who goes in... I forgot what hotel it was, but... If you go in a hotel pool in Deadwood, say hi to mom for me. <laughs> but yeah, it was just a trip where I got to bond with more of my sister and my little brother and, you know, really just enjoy the time with them, but also I finally felt like I did something right by mom, you know? And then the last resting place of hers we went back to Montana to where my siblings live their foster parents and in the back in their backyard of their of their home they have a little little fl um, fake flower they planted and dumped mom's ashes beneath it so mom has a marker in their backyard too so mom was meant to only have two resting places she now has three and you know honestly if there's an afterlife I'm guessing she was laughing her ass off the whole way. And that's perfect. I mean, might as well get a laugh out of it somehow, right? But beyond that, my life's really hasn't been that, that big. I mean, 
I've been going to work, I've been gaming, I just recently caught up on all my bills. I mean, that's nothing relevant. I'm going back to college, hopefully in September, so... Bright side... I'm gonna finally be getting somewhere in my life, and maybe, just maybe, I'll be a lot less bored and have a future in something. But right now we're just gonna see how it all works out. It might be ITT Tech over in Seattle, which, you know, it'd be nice. Nice little change of pace from the usual, oh my god, what the fuck am I doing in my life? Because right now my job, though it's a nice job, unless a cashier at the casino decides to quit or gets fired, I can't move up. So I'm basically in soft count until I quit. <laughs> and I like the job, but I've been there two years now. And eventually I'm going to get sick of the job, the hours, the pay. I mean, I get bored of jobs and... The longest it takes for me is about two years, so... I don't want to be stuck in something, you know? But on top of that, I, um, had the biggest confident booster today ever. I went to the pet store to buy those little noisemakers you guys are probably hearing in the background. For my little leopard gecko, and one of my friends at the... One of my friends at the pet store who I'm wondering if they're attracted to me or not. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, she was like, hey, you look great. I mean, I like your pants, and you have a cute butt. And I was just like, oh, thank you. And yeah, me feeling ridiculously, horrifically Friday. ugly all the time. Yeah. Oh, and we have a puppy. Her name is Maggie, and if you overheard the yelling, that was my grandma telling her not to do something. If you didn't hear it, good for you. But, yeah, like, I usually don't feel very attractive or pretty. I mean, I see my love handles. When I'm tucking and a ball slips, I feel disgusting. When I, when I don't even, when I have to rush out the door and not be, like, you know, breast in, wearing something I actually like, I'm, I feel hideous as a guy. I really do. I feel pretty as a woman, but I know that people don't see me as one. And when they do, or they see me as something beautiful, I'm like, yes! So, I don't know. I wish I had a better update for you guys, because I know that seems kind of blah. I mean, that life really isn't that relevant yet. But I think I'm getting somewhere finally. It's finally going up, you know? And... I've wasted enough of my life. I really have. I mean, last time I was in college was 2007, and I miss it. I miss trying to strive for something different. I miss having a social life. I mean, I have, all I do is meet friends of friends, and that's, or a friend or two, and that's all. I never meet anyone new beyond that. I don't go to bars because they bore me. Unless, of course, I'm with some friends. So I never meet anyone. So, in a way, it's going to be a really nice change of pace. I'll have a social life, I might have a career, and most of all, I won't be bored. And I'll keep you guys updated on hormones if anything changes. I mean, right now, not really much of a change beyond they upped my dosage of Provera, so my breasts will be growing more. Beyond that, you know, there's really nothing. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Hopefully a better one will come later. Hopefully there will be many better ones later. Because I really don't know how the quality of my channel is right now beyond me and Shauna just trying to sing drunk. Which, well... I was hearing myself while almost, while buzzing. I'm, eh, I don't sing good when I'm drunk. I probably don't sing good sober either, but... Oh well. Could be worse. Anyway, live long and prosper, guys.